Finally, in my top five, we have turkey tail, which is not strictly edible in the same way as the other mushrooms I've covered, but it is one of the most powerful medicinal mushrooms in the world and nice to look at. You'll find turkey tail all year round, but it stands out in winter when everything else fades. And because of its immune boosting properties, winter is a good time to find and use it. So for all those reasons, it's made it into my top five winter mushrooms. It grows in rosette-like tiers on dead hardwood, especially oak and beech. The mushroom forms these flat, fan-shaped rosettes, and its shape and concentric rings of colour that resemble the splayed tail feathers of a turkey is where it gets its name from. And indeed, on top of the fruiting body of this mushroom, you see concentric zones of various colours, like browns, greys, greens, blues, rust and cream, often with a velvety texture. Underneath the mushroom, it should be white. If you look closely, Mostly you'll see it's covered in tiny white pores, not gills. The colour may go more creamy or buff coloured with age though, but I stick to foraging relatively young ones in good shape that are nice and white underneath. It's quite thin for a mushroom, about three millimetres, and it's quite tough and leathery in texture too, and it will always be growing from wood not the ground. There are no toxic lookalikes, but there's a few similar looking and equally inedible mushrooms, which if you did confuse for turkey tail and use them medicinally, just wouldn't be as good for you. But most importantly, the lookalikes won't make you ill if you use them medicinally. One such lookalike is okra bracket, but it has less color on its cap. It's basically just different shades of brown. With the other benign lookalikes, it's the underside of the bracket that's most important to check. Remember to turkey tail will have a porous pure white underside whereas smoky bracket will have greyish pores underneath hairy curtain crust will have no pores but more of a smooth yellowish surface underneath and false turkey tail will be more of a brown buff color underneath now i've mentioned turkey tail is classed as inedible because it's tough and so if you cook like you would most mushrooms you'll find it's still too tough to be able to chew and eat turkey tail is famous for being used medicinally particularly noted for its immune supporting compounds it has some powerful beta-glucan polysaccharides which have been used and studied in cancer research many studies have suggested turkey tail to be one of the best mushrooms in the world for helping to support the immune system reduce inflammation and fight off bugs so it's a great one to know in winter when it feels like there's more bugs around to use them medicinally you can make teas concentrated powder extracts or tinctures and there are lots of resources online about how to make those and even i did a video recently on how to make a concentrated powder extract from a mushroom i used birch polypore in the video but you can use turkey tail and any medicinal mushroom instead the principle is the same